Okay, I get it. You're angry. <laughs> Hell, so am I. You know, but that's no reason to overreact and, and, and throw away everything that we have. No, 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 we, we don't have anything. What are you talking about? We care about each other. I could never care about somebody that doesn't care about my daughter. Emma is my life. Whatever we had is over. Ellie, you, you can't hold Maxie responsible. I, I was completely inebriated and, and she just brought me back here to you've, sober up. I, you've explained yourself, Damien, and I've forgiven you. And now I want to hear from Maxie. What's your excuse? Oh, I don't have one. Oh, that's it? Well, what would you like me to say, Ellie? I don't know, Maxie. You might try apologizing if you feel any regret, any remorse. And you know what? If you don't, then I'd rather just have silence than listen to another one of your lies. <clears throat> I am sorry, Ellie, that I hurt you because you didn't deserve that. And I'm sorry that I slept with Spinelli. But I'm not sorry about what happened as a result of it. A panic attack. <sighs> Sounds good. Okay. Panic attacks and heart attacks have very similar symptoms. But the hyperventilation and the localization of the pain tell me that... It was an heart attack. Oh, I, I'm feeling better. I just, I, oh, I'm in a panic attack. Come on, that would be embarrassing. I mean, you know what? It was, it was, it was probably something I, I ate earlier. <laughs> something you ate. Why, real men don't panic? No, I just, I don't want to have panic attacks. Would you rather have a coronary? No, of course not. But I mean, it's just like, I, it's a perfectly natural response to an extreme situation. Well, it didn't feel natural. It felt like somebody was sticking up. Ice pick in my chest. I know, I know, but it's not gonna kill you. However, it's not something you should take lightly either. You really need to deal with whatever is causing this stress. You mean like the fact that everything that I've worked and dreamed about for, for as long as I can remember just went up in smoke? My dad destroyed EOQ to keep me away from AJ. That makes this whole thing my fault. Michael, it is not your fault. You are not responsible. Even if it was Sonny who leaked that information. Connie said that he gave her the information yesterday. And Connie is not trustworthy. Did you talk to Sonny yourself? He, he was in Connie's office. We saw your dad's office when AJ and I walked in. It was obvious something was going on. It turns out he was there to, to thank Connie for running the story. So Sonny admitted it? No. He denied the whole thing Connie told me. <laughs> if you're cold, let's get inside. Your dad could be telling the truth. Come on, who who are you more likely to believe, Connie or your dad? Well, you think I want it to be my dad? I, I don't. It's just, it's the only logical explanation. Well, sometimes the logical explanation isn't always right. There's no reason to be jealous. The flower was just a thank you. For what? Lunch. You took some guy to lunch? Yeah, on the spur of the moment, I felt bad for him. Look, I took Danny to Pier 52 to feed the ducks, and this guy there was so hungry he was gonna eat the leftover stale bread, so I brought him back here and bought him a bowl of chili. Well, it's nice that you weren't out. Yeah, I, I hope I'm never in a situation like that, but if I was, I would want someone to help me too. You have to remember that everybody doesn't think the same way that you do, Molly. You have to be careful. You don't know anything about this guy. Don't worry. He was harmless. To clean up. I want you to bag it, get it back to the lab. Besides Prince, I want to know where the hell it came from. Okay, what do we got? What do we got? Well, when I arrived, I found the kid kneeling beside the victim, and he had this in his hand. What is that from? At this point, it's the murder weapon. I haven't seen Allison in years, not not since she had the baby. She mentioned she had a son. Yeah, Rafe. She named him after her husband and my cousin, Rafe Kovic. He was an angel. Okay, so Rafe and Allison had a son. What? What happened? Nothing. I mean, I don't think anything happened. Uh, it's just at the time, Allison was really worried. She... She had reason to believe that Rafe wasn't the father of her son. 
And in the end, she turned out to be right. The, the baby, oh my God, the baby that would be a teenager now was not her husband's child. He was just kneeling there beside her. He didn't even try to run. Has he said anything? No. Huh? Nothing, no. Really, not even a word. Really? I think he's the victim's son. He murdered his mother? I don't know. I didn't see the crime in progress. I just found him by the body. Any sign of another assailant? No, not yet. Oh, my goodness. What makes a boy kill his own mother? If Kovic isn't Rafe's father, then who is? The boy's father is Caleb Morley, the man you call John McBain. Allison mentioned that she had a son, but he wasn't with her at the police station, and neither was her husband. Rafe Kovic is long gone. He took off as soon as he found out the boy was Caleb's. Wait, so Allison had an affair? No, Caleb? no, no, no. I wouldn't call it an affair. Caleb used his powers of seduction. Oh. Allison didn't even really realize that the baby was Caleb's until after he was born, and even then, she was in denial. She insisted on calling that baby Rafe. After her husband. Yeah. Yeah. Except Allison is so fair. And Rafe had blonde hair and green eyes, and that baby was born with black hair. You took one look at that baby, and you knew he was Caleb's because he looked exactly like him. The one you want us to call? A relative? Your father? We'll be in to see him in a minute. Hey, John, how come you were first on the scene? The victim called me and asked me to meet her on the pier. You knew his mother? No. But she thought she knew me. Oh, she showed up in the police station a few hours ago, and she took one look at me and... She just freaked out. You said that Rafe took off when he realized the boy wasn't his? But wait, 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 wait. Don't get me wrong. It, it's not like that. It's not that he abandoned them. He loved both of them very much. He was just so determined to protect them. Protect them? By leaving? By leaving to find Caleb. Rafe wanted to find Caleb and stop him. He knew that Caleb might come after that baby, and he never wanted Caleb to be able to hurt Allison or her son. Did he ever find Caleb? We never knew. They just... They just vanished. And always in my heart of hearts... I knew that Caleb was the one that survived because Rafe would be here if he could. He would be here. And so, anyway, time went by. Nobody heard a word. And no one has heard or seen either one of them until now. It would have been selfish to just hand him a bag of stale bread and walk away. The least I could do is bring Rafe someplace warm. Rafe? <laughs> to exchange names? Well, I couldn't very well trade him to lunch without knowing his name. See, my thing is, if you felt so bad for the guy, how come you couldn't just leave him some cash and get his own lunch? Oh, well, I don't think he would have accepted it. So he accepts stale bread, but not money. You're way overthinking <laughs> this. I am right. never going to see him again. His mother drags him all over the place. I mean, they're probably on a bus out of town right now. Mother? How old is this guy? I don't know, our age, I guess. He left that part out. Oh. You seem to cover a lot over one bowl of chili. Just so you know. You're definitely starting to sound jealous. <laughs> Why well, are you jealous of a guy who can't even buy a girl flowers? He has to steal her from a diner table. Mm. I saw the article about ELQ. Investors are already pulling out. That's not your fault. You've been in charge for like five minutes. I'm the CEO. I mean, it's my job to, to, to salvage the company, to, to handle the crisis. I spent a lot of time with your family, enough to understand what ELQ means to them. But nothing is more important than your health. I think, I think my grandfather might disagree with you. I could actually hear him now saying, what, are you going to let a couple of, couple of chest pains keep you from finishing your work? I know you loved Edward, and you wanted his respect. Yeah, well, I think it might be too late for that. I mean, I finally got my shot to run his company. What do I do? I, I put the place in absolute ruins. I also know how it feels to be disappointed in yourself. And if you give in to it, it's only going to get worse. You need to rebuild a little at a time. I don't know if you know this, but I've been in recovery for a really long time. And that's what gave me the confidence to come back to Port Charles. And it was going so great. I mean, you know, I'd gotten the charges dropped. And, and I'm, I'm finally running ELQ, and I'm 
right on the brink of having something really good with my son. I should have known it. I should have known that Sonny would never let that happen. Sonny. Yes, Sonny, because he's the one who leaked this to the press because he wants to ruin my relationship with Michael. My dad had a meeting with Tracy. He admitted that it was about how to keep AJ from taking over EOQ. He said that he turned her down. Hey, maybe he did. But here's a different scenario. What if my dad found proof that Tracy was, was laundering money through EOQ and he brought that to Connie knowing it would destroy the company and keeping me away from AJ? And, and he knows that Connie is running the paper, so, I mean, he wants her to feel grateful and, and maybe even trust him. That all sounds very complicated. What if it's just Connie lying? Look at what she did to Molly. Look at how she lied about shooting out Anthony's tires. She lies about everything. Why, why are you uh, defending my dad so much? I don't know. Maybe I'm just hoping he's not as vindictive and irredeemable as my dad. Well, anyway, it doesn't really matter. The damage is done. EOQ is on the ropes. I'm sorry. On the bright side, there will be other ways to get to know AJ other than working with him at EOQ. Yeah, no. Thanks for reminding me. I should probably get over there. Then we're going to be in for a very long night. Sorry. Good luck. Over? Like, you're breaking up with me over one disagreement? I'm not the right guy for you. We're in different places in our lives. We have different priorities. Trust me, this is for the best. Patrick, I, you're upset. I get it. But this is normal. We're just getting to know one another. It, it, this is this is going to happen. There's going to be bumps along the way. No, but, but that's this no is bigger reason. because I have to end this before it gets too serious. It already is serious, Patrick. We've had sex because we both wanted to. Because I thought that we both had feelings well, for I each am other. I'm sorry if I misled you, okay? But this is the way it's going to be. And I have no say in that. I'm making the best decisions that I can make for my family, for Emma and me. We will still work together, we'll still have a professional relationship, but that is the only relationship that we're gonna have. So I hope you understand. Oh, hey, I, I, yeah, I, I understand. This is your fault, you little bitch. 